Hello, my friend. Discover the heartbreaking stories of celebrities whose lives were tragically cut short by anorexia in this 2024 update. This devastating disease has claimed the lives of some beloved stars and their stories will leave you both moved and inspired. Lena Zavaroni, a Scottish singer and TV show host, tragically passed away at the age of 35 due to complications from anorexia nervosa, a severe eating disorder that had plagued her since she was just 13. Lena rose to fame at the young age of 10 when her album, Ma, He's Making Eyes at Me, made it into the top 10 of the UK albums chart, making her the youngest person ever to achieve such a milestone. Despite her incredible talent and early success, Lena's life was overshadowed by the immense challenges of her mental and physical health. The pressures of fitting into costumes and growing up under the scrutiny of the public eye triggered her battle with anorexia, leading her weight to drop to a dangerously low 25 kilos. Throughout the 1970s and 1980s, Lena was hospitalized multiple times as she fought this devastating illness. Friends like Lulu noticed the alarming signs early on and tried to help, but the disease continued to take its toll. In her later years, Lena withdrew from the public, only seeing her family and continued to struggle with her health. If you want to explore the journey with me, please leave number one and watch this video until the end. Interesting things are waiting for you in the video. Anna Carolina Reston, a 21-year-old Brazilian model, tragically passed away on November 15, 2006, due to complications from anorexia nervosa and bulimia. Standing 5 due 6 tall, Anna had a promising modeling career, working with top agencies like Ford and Elite, and appearing in high-profile ad campaigns for designers such as Giorgio Armani. Despite her success in the fashion industry, Anna struggled with eating disorders from a young age. Her condition worsened after a job interview in China in 2004, where she was told she was too fat. Upon returning from Japan, her mother, Miriam, noticed that Anna had become dangerously thin. Miriam recalled pleading with her daughter to eat, but Anna insisted she was fine, denying any issues with her health. Her cousin, Danny Grimaldi, revealed that Anna also battled bulimia a disorder where individuals binge eat and then force themselves to vomit. By the time of her death, Anna weighed only 88 pounds with an alarmingly low BMI of 14.1. In the wake of her passing, Anna's mother urged parents to be vigilant with their children, emphasizing that the loss of a child is an unbearable pain that no amount of money can ease. Hila Elmalich, an Israeli fashion model, tragically passed away at the age of 33 in 2007 due to complications from anorexia nervosa. Hila, once a well-known model in Israel, was represented by the Elite Model Management Agency. On November 14, 2007, after years of battling the eating disorder, she succumbed to its devastating effects, her heart giving out at her home. At the time of her death, she weighed less than 60 pounds, a stark indicator of the severe toll anorexia had taken on her body. Despite numerous hospitalizations, Hyla was unable to overcome the relentless grip of the disorder. After her passing, her friend, Israeli fashion photographer Adi Barkin, spoke out describing her as a sacrifice to fashion. Barkin's grief and determination led him to launch a global campaign to redefine beauty standards, advocating for healthier body images in the fashion industry. Hila's death became a catalyst for change in Israel, 
where in 2012 new regulations were implemented requiring models to have a BMI of at least 18.5, the minimum considered healthy. What's better than starting the day with a delicious cup of tea and watching this fascinating video together? Jeremy Gillitzer tragically passed away at the age of 38 after a long struggle with anorexia. His life serves as a stark reminder of the devastating impact this eating disorder can have, even on those who once seemed to have it all. Jeremy, who was once a successful model with a strong and muscular physique, saw his weight plummet to just 92 pounds as anorexia took hold. In his final days, he weighed only 66 pounds, a far cry from his former self. His mother, Diane, remembered her last words to him, I love you, as she gave him a hug, but the disease ultimately claimed his life. Kevin Hoffman, who saw Jeremy during his last days, recalled how difficult it was to witness his frail body struggling to move and breathe. Jeremy's story is a powerful reminder that eating disorders do not only affect women, men are also vulnerable. A Harvard study found that 25% of people with anorexia and bulimia are men, as are 40% of those with binge eating disorders. Henriette Humke, a former Miss Saxony, tragically passed away at the age of 29 due to anorexia nervosa. Born into a family deeply connected to the entertainment world, Henriette was accustomed to life in the public eye. Her death in 2017 was a stark reminder of the devastating impact of anorexia, a disease that often goes unnoticed until it's too late. Known for her success in beauty pageants, Henriette's struggle with anorexia was well known, and her passing highlighted the seriousness of this condition. Henriette's story underscores the importance of early detection and treatment for eating disorders. In the final years of her life, her health deteriorated significantly despite her efforts to recover. Her death led to an outpouring of grief and sparked conversations about the critical need for mental health support. Henriette's untimely passing serves as a poignant reminder of the importance of caring for mental health, especially for young women who may be vulnerable to eating disorders. Karen Carpenter, one of the legendary singers of the 70s, conquered millions of hearts with her sweet voice and sophisticated musical style. Together with her brother Richard, she created the band The Carpenters and quickly became a musical icon of the era. However, behind the stage's glory, Karen faced a fierce internal battle that few people knew about. During the peak years of her career, Karen was obsessed with the desire to have a perfect body. Pressure from the public and harsh body standards pushed her into a spiral of anorexia, a dangerous psychological disease that was not yet fully understood at that time. The harshness of her diet gradually weakened Karen's body, despite the efforts of her friends and family to help her overcome it. On February 4, 1983, the music world was shocked by the news that Karen Carpenter had died of heart failure due to anorexia at the age of 32. Her passing was not only a great loss to the music industry, but also sounded the alarm about the harmful effects of this disease. Although she has passed away, Karen Carpenter still leaves a deep impression in the hearts of her fans, along with a valuable lesson about taking care of mental health. Nikki Graham, 
a well-known British reality TV star, tragically passed away in 2021 at the age of 38 after a lifelong battle with anorexia nervosa. Nikki's struggles with the eating disorder began at just eight years old, as her mother Susan recalled noticing a sudden change in her daughter's demeanor. Nikki became withdrawn and stopped smiling, burdened with the weight of the world at such a young age. Over the next 30 years, she faced an ongoing fight against this debilitating condition. Despite her struggles, Nikki gained fame on the popular TV show Big Brother in 2006, where her lively personality and memorable, Who Is She? moment made her an unforgettable character. Her mother believes that being on the show gave Nikki a new lease on life, keeping her engaged and active. However, the eating disorder persisted, and Nikki spent over 11 years in and out of treatment centers, trying to manage her condition. In the final weeks of her life, Nikki's health deteriorated significantly, with her BMI dropping to a dangerous level of just 10. Her mother received heartbreaking calls indicating that Nikki might not survive. Sadly, Nikki Graham passed away on April 9, 2021, leaving behind a legacy as a beloved TV personality. Amy Ellis, a 43-year-old woman from Braun Flintshire, tragically passed away in 2023 due to complications from a lifelong battle with anorexia nervosa. Amy had struggled with eating issues since childhood, but her condition worsened in recent years, ultimately leading to her untimely death. She was a vocal advocate for better support for those with eating disorders, sharing her experiences with over 140,000 followers on TikTok. In a heartbreaking video, Amy expressed her fear and uncertainty about what was happening to her, despite her efforts to raise $200,000 for specialized treatment in England. Unfortunately, the NHS was unable to provide the help she desperately needed. Her mother, Lynn Ellis, voiced her disappointment with the care Amy received, emphasizing the importance of accountability in such situations. Amy had a strong desire to recover and return to being a loving daughter, sister and aunt, but her condition continued to deteriorate. An investigation into Amy's death revealed that she passed away from pneumonia, brought on by severe malnutrition due to her untreated eating disorder. Luis El Ramos, a young Uruguayan model, tragically passed away at the age of 22 due to heart failure caused by anorexia nervosa on August 2, 2006. The heartbreaking event occurred during Montevideo Fashion Week, where Luis L. collapsed backstage after walking the runway. Her father, Luis Ramos, a former footballer who represented Uruguay in the 1966 FIFA World Cup, revealed that she had not eaten for several days before her death. In the months leading up to her passing, Luiselle survived on a diet of lettuce and Diet Coke, reducing her weight to a dangerously low 44 kilos with a BMI of just 14.5. Standing 1.75 meters tall, her BMI was far below the World Health Organization's threshold for severe thinness. Luiselle's untimely death sparked a global conversation about the extreme pressures the fashion industry places on models to maintain an unhealthy level of thinness. In response, the Madrid Fashion Week in September 2006 implemented a new rule requiring models to have a BMI of at least 18, and Italian fashion designers soon followed by banning size zero models from their runways. Tragically, just months later, Luis Sell's younger sister Eliana Ramos, also a model, died at the age of 18, suspected to have suffered a heart attack related to malnutrition.
The Ramos sisters' deaths continue to resonate as a stark reminder of the dangers of extreme dieting in the fashion industry. Isabel Caro, a French model and actress, tragically passed away at 28 years old in November 2010 after battling anorexia nervosa for many years. She developed the disorder at 13, influenced by a difficult childhood marked by her mother's mental health struggles and her own feelings of isolation. In 2007, Isabel became internationally known for her participation in an Italian anti-anorexia campaign, where stark images of her frail body highlighted the severe dangers of the disorder. Despite her efforts to recover, including writing a book and appearing on TV shows to raise awareness, Isabel's health continued to decline. At her lowest point, she weighed just 55 pounds and fell into a coma in 2006. Her brave attempt to warn others about the dangers of anorexia was a poignant part of her life's mission. Even as she struggled to overcome the disease herself, Isabel's passing was a profound loss, with her acting teacher Daniel Dubois lamenting that her death was a total waste. Nana Karagiani, a talented Greek TV host and model, tragically passed away at the age of 38 due to complications from anorexia nervosa. Born in 1979, Nana began her career as a model before transitioning to television, where she became a well-known figure in Greece. Despite her success, Nana struggled with anorexia for many years, a battle that ultimately led to her untimely death. Anorexia took a severe toll on Nana, causing her to lose a significant amount of weight and altering her appearance drastically. The illness not only ravaged her body, but also deeply affected her mental health, leaving her feeling isolated and depressed. In an interview, Nana spoke candidly about her struggle, describing it as a war she had been fighting for years, admitting that sometimes it felt like she was losing. Nana's death came as a shock to many, both in Greece and beyond. Lene Marie Fossen, a gifted Norwegian photographer, passed away in 2019 at the age of 33 after battling anorexia nervosa for most of her life. She began struggling with the disorder at just 10 years old choosing not to eat because she feared growing up. Despite her severe illness, Lini did not receive proper medical help for 18 years until she realized she had to confront her condition. Through her photography, Lena found a way to express the deep pain she felt. Her haunting self-portraits, taken in an old hospital in Chios, Greece, captured the raw emotion of her suffering. Lean said her work was not just about anorexia, but about human suffering, showcasing her profound artistic talent even as she struggled with her illness. Lena's story is told in the documentary Self-Portrait where she expressed her fear that recovery might affect her art. Despite hopes that she would overcome her illness, Lene's battle with anorexia ultimately took her life, leaving behind a legacy of powerful and haunting images that continue to resonate. Heidi Gwenther, a talented dancer from San Francisco, tragically passed away at 22 due to complications from an eating disorder. She began her journey at the San Francisco Ballet School, earning a full scholarship at just 12 years old. Her promising career saw her perform with the San Francisco Ballet before joining the Boston Ballet as an apprentice in 1994.
However, the relentless pressure to maintain an extremely thin figure began to take a toll on her health. The San Francisco Ballet School advised her to lose weight, and later, the Boston Ballet's artistic director demanded she drop an additional five pounds, threatening her contract if she didn't comply. As Heidi's weight dropped, she was given more opportunities to dance, which only increased the pressure to stay thin. Sadly, this pressure led her to dangerous habits like using laxatives and skipping meals. On June 30, 1997, during a family visit to Disneyland, Heidi collapsed and died from cardiac arrest caused by extreme malnutrition. Her death was a wake-up call for the ballet community, leading to increased awareness and the introduction of new policies to support dancers struggling with eating disorders. Eliana Ramos, an 18-year-old Uruguayan fashion model with a promising career, tragically passed away on February 13, 2007, due to complications from anorexia nervosa. Standing 5'7 tall, Eliana followed in the footsteps of her older sister, Luisel Ramos, who had died just six months earlier from heart failure related to the same eating disorder. The untimely deaths of the Ramos sisters drew significant attention in Latin America, sparking concern over the pressures placed on young women in the fashion industry. Eliana's grandmother, who discovered her body, recalled the heartbreaking moment, noting that she had now faced this tragedy twice. Despite the evidence, Eliana's boss, Pancho Dotto, dismissed the notion that eating disorders were to blame, suggesting instead that a family health issue was responsible. However, reports indicated that Eliana had been rapidly losing weight before her death, although it remains unclear whether this was intentional. The loss of the Ramos sisters highlighted the extreme pressures and unrealistic beauty standards that young models face, particularly in the Latin American fashion industry. Valeria Levitin, born in 1973 in Russia, was tragically known as the thinnest woman in the world due to her severe battle with anorexia. As a teenager, Valeria faced relentless teasing from other kids about her weight, despite weighing a healthy 64 kilos. Unfortunately, her mother's lack of support during this difficult time pushed Valeria to embark on a dangerous path of extreme dieting, which soon spiraled into a life-threatening eating disorder. At her thinnest, she weighed only 25 kilo with a shocking BMI of 7.6, her skin hanging over her frail bones like leather. Despite her physical suffering, Valeria became an unintended role model for young girls struggling with anorexia, receiving letters from fans who admired her for all the wrong reasons. Reflecting on her life, Valeria admitted that anorexia had made her lonely, not beautiful or likable. She recognized that her eating disorder had taken much from her, leaving her isolated and in constant pain. Sadly, her battle with the disorder was too great, and she passed away in 2013 at the age of 40. Javiera Munoz, a Swedish singer with Chilean and Spanish roots, was a talented artist who participated in Sweden's prestigious music competition, Melody Festivalen, twice, first in 2000 with the song Varje Tima, Var Minut, and again in 2002 with No Mas. Born on May 28, 1977, in Motala, Sweden, Javiera faced a long and difficult battle with anorexia nervosa, which she struggled with for 10 years. Tragically, she passed away on January 16, 2018, at the age of 40 in Gothenburg, Sweden.
Javiera's fight against anorexia was incredibly tough, as the disorder is notoriously difficult to overcome. Despite her efforts, the disease ultimately claimed her life, highlighting the deadly nature of eating disorders, which are not simply about willpower. Even amid her struggles, Javiera created beautiful music that continues to be cherished by her fans. She released two albums, Javiera in 2001 and True Love in 2004, along with several other beloved songs. Her passing was deeply felt in the Swedish music community, with those who knew her remembering her as a talented and dedicated artist who touched many lives with her music. Karin Bauman, a woman from Israel, tragically passed away at the age of 35 after a long battle with anorexia nervosa. Her struggles with the eating disorder began when she was 22, leading to numerous hospitalizations over the years. At her lowest point, Karin weighed only 23 kilo and required a machine to assist with her breathing. Despite her family's involvement in the fashion industry, Karin's health continued to decline, and she became dangerously thin. In 2022, she wrote a heartbreaking letter to her mother, Yehudit, expressing her exhaustion from fighting the disease and seeking peace. Karen's death highlighted the immense pain and suffering endured by those with eating disorders. Her story underscores the importance of understanding the psychological struggles that accompany anorexia, where the desire to avoid eating can overpower the body's essential need for nourishment. Anne McDaniels, a talented model, actress, and performer from Wisconsin, tragically passed away at the age of 46 due to complications from anorexia. Born on July 13, 1977, Anne pursued her dreams with determination, moving to New York City in 2003 and later to Los Angeles in 2007 to advance her career. Over her 24-year career, Anne appeared in numerous movies and TV shows, including General Hospital, Law and & Order, and Conan. She also had a successful modeling career, gracing magazine covers and advertising various products. Anne's passion for modeling, dancing, and sports began at a young age, and she excelled in her high school's dance and music programs. Her success in the competitive entertainment industry was a testament to her hard work, confidence, and charming personality. However, despite her achievements, Anne's life was tragically cut short due to the severe impact of anorexia. Her obituary revealed that she passed away on Friday, April 26, 2024, at her apartment on Hollywood Boulevard in Los Angeles. Donatella Versace, the fashion icon with a mysterious glow that could rival a disco ball, has sparked rumors about her beauty secrets. With a face smoother than a silk scarf and features sharper than her designs, it's hard not to wonder if she's had a little help from the cosmetic gods. From her slender nose to her plump lips, Donatella's transformation over the years has been as dramatic as a runway show. And let's not forget the shiny forehead that could blind an astronaut cosmetic surgery director Mark Norfolk, even dubbed it the Botox Shine. But hey, who's to say? Maybe Donatella's secret to eternal youth is just good genes and a killer skincare routine. Or maybe she's got a whole team of plastic surgeons on speed dial. Either way, one thing's for sure, she's keeping us all guessing, one shiny forehead at a time. Michael Jackson's plastic surgery journey is as legendary as his music career. From his youthful photos to his final images, the transformation is undeniable. Rumor has it he underwent countless procedures in pursuit of perfection, 
It all started with a nose job. A trial run with his sister, Latoya, reportedly acting as the guinea pig. Satisfied with the results, he dove headfirst into his own surgical odyssey in 1979, setting the stage for a parade of transformations. Experts estimate Jackson may have had up to 100 surgeries, including nose tweaks, cheek implants, eyelid lifts, and chin enhancements. Dr. Wallace Goodstein spilled the beans on Jackson's frequent visits, sometimes cramming in a dozen procedures in one go. Jackson's dedication to his aesthetic vision was unmatched. He once said, to indulge in the fruits of my talents for myself would be selfish. His legacy lives on not only in his music, but also in the endless fascination with his ever-changing appearance. It's like watching a real-life metamorphosis only with a killer soundtrack. Priscilla Presley, the iconic figure linked to Elvis Presley and business prowess, has kept the rumor mill spinning with whispers of potential plastic surgery. Yet, like a well-guarded secret, she stayed mum on the specifics, leaving us all to speculate. Enter the expert opinions. Doctors analyzing her photos from afar, like Sherlock Holmes on the case. Dr. Dave David points to cheek fillers gone awry, giving Priscilla a perpetual squint. Dr. Anthony Yoon hints at a possible facelift, while others suggest she might have dabbled in skin resurfacing treatments with potentially shocking results. And then there's the wild tale of Dr. Daniel Serrano, the rogue cosmetic cowboy peddling industrial silicone at Hollywood parties. Forget Botox, this guy's injections could have doubled as car lube. Talk about taking engineered beauty to a whole new level. So, whether Priscilla's secret lies in cheek fillers or silicone shortcuts, one thing's for sure, in the world of cosmetic mysteries, Elvis's leading lady keeps us all guessing. Joan Van Ark, the acclaimed actress, has kept her plastic surgery journey under wraps in public, but eagle-eyed observers can't help but notice the subtle shifts in her appearance over the years. From her natural charm in older photos to a more refined look today, there's definitely been some tinkering in the lab of aesthetic improvements. Speculation runs wild among experts, with facelifts, collagen injections, cheek implants, Botox, and even a bro lift thrown into the mix. But in 2020, some observers couldn't help but notice a certain melting plastic vibe in Joan's facial features. Enter Dr. Anthony Yoon, the plastic surgery sleuth, who suggests Joan might have gone under the knife multiple times for facelifts, resulting in a jawline that could cut glass. And let's not forget the absence of wrinkles and that buttery smooth forehead classic signs of a Botox boost and bro lift. While Joan remains tight-lipped, the speculation surrounding her transformation is like smoke signaling a fire beneath the surface. Who knows what secrets lie behind that flawless facade? Hang Miyoku's wild ride through the world of plastic surgery is like something straight out of a Hollywood comedy, albeit with a tragic twist. Imagine this, a former model and singer. Hang Miyoku's was on top of the world until she fell headfirst into the bottomless pit of cosmetic obsession at the tender age of 28. With more procedures under her belt than a Kardashian, she jet-setted to Japan in pursuit of the ultimate glow-up. But as Hang Miyoku's addiction grew, so did her metamorphosis. When she returned home to Korea, even her own parents couldn't pick her out of a lineup. Enter the plastic surgeon, who kept the silicone flowing, and when that dried up, Hang Miyoku's turned to cooking oil to keep the party going. Can you say, extra crispy? Despite public sympathy and a few attempts to fix the mess, Hang Miyoku's face still looks like it lost a fight with a deep fryer. Now, she's clocking hours at a thrift store, praying for a miracle, a reminder that sometimes chasing perfection can leave you looking like yesterday's leftovers.
Meet Zhu Chuna, the 17-year-old sensation from China who took the social media world by storm with her jaw-dropping plastic surgery journey. Starting at the tender age of 13, Chuna embarked on a whirlwind of over 100 surgeries, all in the pursuit of beauty and social acceptance. From double eyelid surgery to Barbie eye surgery, rhinoplasty, breast implants, and liposuction, Chuna spared no expense to transform herself into her ideal vision of perfection. Despite facing challenges like memory loss and permanent scarring, she remained steadfast in her belief that it was all worth it. With her parents footing the bill to the tune of over $620,000, Chuna's journey highlights the lengths some will go to for beauty. She even threatened to drop out of school if her surgeries weren't funded a bold move indeed. In a world where self-image and social pressure collide, Chuna's story serves as a vivid example of the lengths people will go to in the pursuit of beauty. After all, who needs textbooks when you've got a new nose to show off? Carrot Top, the comedic genius formerly known as Scott Thompson, has been lighting up stages with his infectious energy and hilarious performances for years. From cracking jokes on The Tonight Show to voicing characters on Cartoon Network, he's a true entertainer through and through. Now, as Carrot Top hits his 50s, eagle-eyed fans have noticed some changes in his appearance. From slim to muscular and back again, speculation runs wild about whether he's had a little nip and tuck or if it's all just good old-fashioned lifestyle choices. But hold your scalpels, folks Carrot Top insists he's all natural, baby. With a wink and a quip, he jokes that if he ever did go under the knife, he'd come out looking even more fabulous. But in reality, he's sticking to his guns, crediting his toned physique to hard work and a killer gym routine. So, whether it's plastic surgery or just some good old-fashioned fitness, one thing's for sure, Carrot Top's comedic chops are as sharp as ever, no matter how he got those killer abs. Jessica Alves, formerly Rodrigo Alves, is a Brazilian-British TV sensation known for her jaw-dropping cosmetic makeovers. Born in 1983 to a Brazilian mom and British dad, she's got a family tree as diverse as her wardrobe. From a young age, Jessica felt a kinship with femininity, thanks in part to her love for Barbie dolls. Despite being labeled male at birth, she rocked cross-dressing and doll play like a pro, proving gender is more than just black and white. Puberty threw Jessica a curveball with a hormone imbalance, sprouting breast tissue, and inviting bullies to the playground. But she didn't let the haters stop her shine. Fast forward to today, and Jessica's undergone a whopping 103 procedures, including so many nose jobs, she can't even smell the roses anymore. With over 50 plastic surgeries and a price tag rivaling a small country's GDP, she's the queen of transformation. Despite the ups and downs, Jessica's on a mission for self-expression and identity, proving that in the game of life, sometimes you gotta play with the cards you're dealt and maybe get a little nip and tuck along the way. Jackie Stallone, the astrologer extraordinaire and mother to Hollywood heavyweights, spilled the tea on her plastic surgery woes. Describing her post-op face as resembling a chipmunk with a walnut stuck in her mouth, she didn't sugarcoat the outcome. In a heart-to-heart, -heart, Jackie opened up about her recent health scare a heart attack and the heartbreaking loss of her daughter and grandson, both tragedies unfolding under her roof. But Jackie's not one to let life's curveballs slow her down. Nestled in her luxury Santa Monica pad, she's tapping into life with tap dance classes personal training sessions, and tickling the ivories for two hours daily. Unlike Tinseltown's party animals, Jackie believes in aging gracefully and setting an example for the elders. As she famously put it, turning 50 made me a role model for movie stars because they fear aging and prosperity. But as I've aged, I've only become more popular. Sadly, Jackie left us in 2020 at the ripe age of 99, but her spirit lives on, 
reminding us that age is just a number and a good tap routine can keep you young at heart. Meet Pixie Fox, the North Carolina native on a quest to transform into a living cartoon character. At 33, she's undergone a jaw surgery for a smaller face, elf-like ear surgery, and even had six ribs removed. Talk about dedication, but Pixie's transformation journey doesn't stop there. She's had four breast augmentations, multiple lip injections, fat injections under her eyes, eyebrow and buttock lifts, and even eye surgery to change her eye color. With over 20 procedures under her belt, she's like a real-life comic book hero. However, her quest for cartoon perfection hit a snag when doctors Terry Dubrow and Paul Nassif from Botched put their foot down, refusing to perform further surgeries. But Pixie isn't giving up that easily. She's got her sights set on public eyelash implants and a one-of-a-kind genital transformation she calls Baby Flower. Pixie's journey may push the boundaries of beauty standards, but hey, you've got to admire her commitment. After all, who needs reality when you can live in a cartoon world? Raji Narina Singh, a jack-of-all-trades American, made waves in acting, LGBT advocacy, writing, singing, and reality TV. But her path hit a bump when she landed on the botched show seeking a fix for a face full of DIY fillers gone wrong. Picture this, cement-like substances in her face, breasts, and hips courtesy of an unlicensed cosmetologist. Yikes! But wait, there's more. Raji's heritage is a melting pot of Indo-Trinidadian, French, Afro-Trinidadian, and Polynesian roots. Talk about a cultural cocktail. In the 90s, she embraced her true self as a transgender woman, a journey as colorful as her ancestry. Fast forward to 2005, and she's in Miami getting injections from the Duchess herself, O'Neill Ron Morris. The catch? The filler ingredients read like a DIY disaster, concrete, tire sealant, mineral oil, and glue. Beauty blunder alert. Despite the rocky road, Ragey's resilience shines through. Her story's a reminder to always vet your cosmetic pros and maybe steer clear of the hardware store for filler supplies. Step right up, folks, and behold the one and only Jocelyn Wildenstein, a K Catwoman, defying beauty norms in her ADS with a look that's perfectly unique. But hold on to your seats, because here's the twist. She swears it's all thanks to her Swiss roots, not a surgeon's scalpel. That's right, Swiss cheese, watches, and now beauty secrets. It's like discovering a hidden treasure in the Alps. But wait, there's more. Rumor has it, Jocelyn might have dropped a fortune on a mega surgery just to get those mesmerizing cat eyes. I mean, who wouldn't want to rock a look like that? But while Jocelyn insists her skin is as smooth as Swiss chocolate, skeptics are scratching their heads. Did she or didn't she? That's the million dollar question. So, folks, it's time to weigh in. Is it all Swiss magic or is there more than meets the eye? Let's hear your thoughts. Cardi B, the queen of beats and bold statements, isn't one to shy away from sharing her plastic surgery adventures. From her music to her Instagram lives, she spills the tea on her cosmetic escapades, mistakes and all. In a recent Insta sesh, she dropped a bombshell. She bid adieu to her butt implants, made of 95% biopolymer. Describing the removal process as a wild ride, she threw up a red flag to her followers, steer clear of this procedure, folks. Turns out, Cardi wasn't always about that booty life. 
Back in her stripper days, she caved to pressure and got the implants on the cheap 800 bucks in a sketchy basement. Yikes, lesson learned, bargain basement surgery is a no-go. But hey, Cardi's not anti-plastic surgery. She's all about tweaking what you don't like, like her nose job to say say Anara to her dad's schnoz. Just remember, folks, if you're gonna go under the knife, do it right. Safety first, and maybe splurge a little more than 800 bucks. Sharon Osbourne, the queen of cosmetic confessions, has decided to bid farewell to the plastic surgery roller coaster after her last ride left her feeling like a worthy cyclops. Yep, you heard that right. 70-year-old Sharon wasn't exactly thrilled with her facelift results, comparing herself to a scared, one-eyed creature. After enduring a grueling five-and-a-half-hour ordeal that left her feeling worse than ever, Sharon realized enough was enough. Time wasn't on her side, and she couldn't risk another round of surgery, especially with one eye playing peekaboo with the other. But let's not forget Sharon's journey through the plastic jungle. From corrections to rejuvenations, peels to laser treatments, she's tried it all. In her autobiography Unbreakable, she spills the tea on her quest for eternal youth, proving that when it comes to plastic surgery, sometimes you win, and sometimes you end up feeling like a mythical creature. Katie Price, the British bombshell known for her candidness about cosmetic enhancements, has turned her body into a real-life Barbie dream house. From a subtle start in 99, boosting her bust and tweaking her nose, she's now on a full-blown plastic parade. At 30, she took the plunge and hasn't looked back since. Fast forward to 45, and Katie's transformation is a sight to behold. Plump lips, shiny faces, and breasts that could double as bowling balls, she's done it all. But as the surgeries stack up, so do the concerns. Plastic surgeons like Dr. Scofalax are raising red flags faster than Katie's booking her next nip and tuck. Her yearly breast augmentations, each implant weighing as much as a newborn elephant, have folks worried about her health. Yet, Katie remains nonchalant about her transformation, keeping it real even when others are sounding alarms. It's like watching a reality show where the star's life imitates art and the plot twists are as outrageous as her latest surgery. Anastasia Pokreschuk, hailing from Kiev, Ukraine, embarked on a cosmetic journey that would make even Hollywood stars do a double take. Starting at 26, she dove headfirst into Botox, veneers, and jaw reshaping, but it's her jaw-dropping cheek transformations that steal the show. What sets Anastasia apart is her DIY approach. Forget fancy clinics, she's all about online tutorials and sterile equipment. Call her the MacGyver of fillers. She's so confident in her skills she could probably give medical professionals a run for their money. But here's the kicker. Anastasia isn't just satisfied with standout cheeks. She's gunning for the title of world's most prominent cheeks. Move over, Kardashians. There's a new cheek queen in town. In a 2020 interview, she shrugged off concerns from doctors like they were last season's fashion. Warning labels? Nah, Anastasia's motto seems to be go big or go home, even if it means her cheeks are visible from outer space. So, here's to Anastasia Pokreschuk, the fearless filler aficionado who's reshaping the world one cheek at a time and leaving us all wondering, is there such a thing as too much filler? Heidi Montag, of Laguna Beach fame, learned a valuable lesson the hard way. Freebies can come at a hefty price. 
Seduced by an offer of complimentary cosmetic surgeries, she ended up taking a plunge into a plastic surgery marathon that she now deeply regrets. In a marathon 16-hour session, Heidi underwent a whopping 10 procedures in one shot. But here's the kicker, she was pumped full of opioids, sending her on an emotional roller coaster during her agonizing recovery. At just 23, she'd already had a bro lift, chin reduction, and enough Botox to freeze time. Now, Heidi's got some sage advice for anyone eyeing the scalpel out of insecurity. Consult the pros and your squad first. Peel back the layers of your feelings before you peel back the skin. While she doesn't knock the benefits of a nip and tuck, she's here to shine a light on the not-so-glamorous side of plastic surgery, the pain, the struggles, and the emotional roller coaster. Because let's face it, the journey to perfection isn't always picture perfect. Nevin Siganovi, the Croatian-style guru, took a wild ride into the realm of cosmetic surgery, but it wasn't all smooth sailing. Nope, instead of a nose job, he ended up with a never-ending party in his pants a persistent erection. Yep, you heard that right. His third nasal operation in Iran turned into a real head-turner when he had to rush back to Belgrade with an unexpected side effect, priapism, or, as we like to call it, the unwanted boner syndrome. Cue the awkward elevator music. But hey, Neven's not one to let a little, um, stiffness get in the way of his quest for perfection. Nope, he's still gunning for that flawless look, determined to go under the knife just one more time. Because apparently, nothing says global recognition like a nose job gone awry. In the meantime, let's hope he finds a surgeon who specializes in noses and not, you know, other body parts. And hey, Maybe next time he'll read the fine print before signing up for that discounted surgery deal in Iran. Linda Evangelista, the Canadian supermodel with more magazine covers than you can count, recently had a plastic surgery experience straight out of a horror movie. Enticed by promises of fat loss without surgery, she jumped on the cool sculpting bandwagon, hoping to target those pesky problem areas. But alas, the results were anything but cool. Instead of shedding pounds, Linda ended up with bulges in all the wrong places, her bra area, chin, and thighs. Talk about a chilling turn of events. Turns out, Linda's one in a million, literally. A rare condition called paradoxical lipohyperplasia left her stiff, numb, and stuck with a problem traditional methods couldn't fix. In true supermodel fashion, Linda didn't take this lying down. Nope, she filed a lawsuit against the company, Zeltic Aesthetics Incorporated, aiming for a cool $50 million in damages. Despite the setback, Linda's bravery in speaking out serves as a cautionary tale for anyone considering cosmetic procedures. Sometimes, the risks outweigh the rewards. But hey, at least she's still rocking those magazine covers like a boss. Simon Cowell, the mastermind behind The X Factor and Got Talent, sent shockwaves through the entertainment world with his recent cosmetic overhaul. But instead of looking rejuvenated, he ended up resembling a character from a horror flick. Even his son, Eric, had a hard time recognizing him. In a plot twist, Cowell decided to undo some of the damage and dial down the dramatic changes. Out went the extreme fillers, and in came a more subtle approach to facial treatments. It's like a reality show where the contestant gets a makeover, but the judges say, maybe tone it down a notch. And that's not all Cowell's embracing the American dream of a healthier lifestyle. From chugging water like it's going out of style to swapping out burgers for broccoli, He's all about that holistic wellness vibe now. Who knew the guy behind the judge's table had a softer side? It's like watching a reality show, but this time the star's journey is all about self-love and hydration.
Mickey Rourke's plastic surgery saga takes a unique twist in the realm of celebrity facelifts. Unlike the usual Hollywood tale of battling wrinkles and age, Rourke's journey was a knockout punch from his boxing days in the 90s. Before he was lighting up the silver screen, Rourke was throwing punches in the ring. With a record that made even Rocky take notice, he was a boxing sensation. But each victory left its mark, two broken noses, a split tongue, and a cheekbone that took a beating. Cue the plastic surgeons, armed with scalpels and good intentions. But despite their efforts, Rourke's face remained a work in progress. Five nose jobs and a cheekbone overhaul later, he's become a real-life game of guess who? In a rare moment of honesty, Rourke admitted to picking the wrong surgeon a facepalm moment if there ever was one. It's a cautionary tale with a punchline. Sometimes, the pursuit of perfection can leave you looking more like a Picasso painting than a Hollywood heartthrob. Thank you for watching my video. There are many other interesting things in the next videos. Please look forward to it. Thank you and goodbye.